Welcome back, Cinema Psychos, to The Lucid Nightmare. I'm your host as always, Jay Schatzer. And today I've got a Giallo classic. It's the dirty, grungy, and bloody Sergio Martino flick from 1973. Guys, it is Torso, and this one is just all kinds of bloody fun. Let's dive into this classic of the genre. Here is Torso. Torso is an amazingly stylish and highly overlooked Giallo film brought to us by the great Italian filmmaker Sergio Martino. Adding this thriller-style slasher to his already large list of stupendous films, Martino paints a magnificent painting filled with death, deception, and full-fledged debauchery. Beautifully shot and wholesomely cruel, Torso is a cinematic paradise of bloody violence and unabashed gut-wrenching terror. The film follows a group of college students in Perugia where a rash of disturbing strangulations have recently been committed by the hands of a madman in his red scarf. Opting to get out of the city and head out into the country, American exchange student Jane and her group of school friends take a relaxing stay at a mountaintop villa, only to find that the killer has followed them out to their retreat and is planning on taking their lives next. Susie Kendall takes on the role of the beautifully innocent Jane, the American abroad who finds herself in the crosshairs of a psycho killer. Kendall shines in the role, as she plays the damsel in distress to absolute perfection. Wide-eyed and constantly looking in shock, she gets the job done in projecting her fear out onto the audience. The same can be said for Jane's friend Daniela, played by the doe-eyed Tina Amont. Tina is also given a large amount of time to showcase her shock and awe expressions, as both her and Jane are stalked by the mad crazed killer, in almost constant fashion. Both actresses' efforts are commendable, and they add to the spice that is Torso. When it comes to the look of the film, Sergio Martino really does know how to create a stylish and lavish production. From beautiful locales, haunting swamps, and multitudes of exotic women, he really pulls out a kaleidoscope of visual delights that boggle the mind and cripple your nerves. The use of the killer's point of view shots are also applied with great effect, as we are blessed with countless moments that showcase our killer lurking in the shadows, watching the various females of the film in voyeuristic anticipation. You can feel the creepiness of the character as he watches his intended prey with a detailed eye. And the implementation of these various scenes aids nicely in pulling us into this unabashed world of perversion and sheer panic. In the end, Torso is an underrated giallo slasher that really needs another chance of being discovered by a new generation of horror fans. This film is shot so personally, and the stylistic choice of putting a voyeuristic edge on the visuals makes it that much more compelling. The setting, the cast, and the pace of the entire film makes it a joy to watch, and the violence that is set upon the screen is unmatched in most Italian giallos. If you love the genre of either slasher films or giallos, then I highly recommend giving this one a chance. It's got everything you need in either genre, including ladies, blood, and a psycho killer. In summary, Torso is a bloody good slasher film with fantastic giallo roots. And gang, that is the classic giallo, Torso. Just a bloody good time like I said before, and one you should check out if you haven't already. It's a pure classic. Love it. But guys, that's it for me today. Hope you enjoyed that one and I hope you like what I'm doing here. If you do, please like and subscribe. And if you have time, leave a comment below because I'd love to hear from you. But until then, I will see you with the next movie review. Take care.